Hello, desperate tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Third Age Total War with the Moss Expansion, or Moss Submod Compilation. I always call it Expansion. It's me, Blue Ankylo. Now, we might not be totally desperate yet, but things have taken a turn for the worse. Eriador declared war on us, High Elves declared war on us, and we are kind of out of position, so they took a couple settlements, and it's surprising just how many troops they've got compared to us. So, uh, most of their troops are better and we only sort of barely outnumber them. So anyway, we actually kind of got a lousy uh, deployment zone because I'm kind of worried that they're going to put archers up here. I would, but I don't know about the AI. Anyway, the strategy for today, uh, I've got five troops to be the sort of wall that'll hold them back. I've got a couple units on each flank to wrap around and sort of envelop them so they get attacked from behind. I've got another spare unit to go. They're actually my spearmen. They're not very good, but hopefully I can get them to fight the uh, cavalry that they have and then my wargs um, they've got ballista so I need to get these guys out there to deal with the ballista so anyway let's see what happens oh they're gonna play defensively oh, I hate it when they do this it really prolongs the battle so this is gonna take a while uh, we're gonna have to move our troops up a long way to catch up with them basically it kinda sucks when this happens I mean it's fair they're playing defensive but uh, unfortunately I uh, won't blame you guys if you fast forward a bit because I have got some moving to do and I can't really rush my troops or else they'll get exhausted climbing the hill. So this is just going to take a while climbing up there to catch up with the area door. And the worst thing about it is they can probably shoot ballista down on us as we walk up, if they were smart. So here we are, you know, watching our troops walk up the mountain. It's a fairly nice mountain, I guess. Um, there they are, way back there. At least most of this is train you can cross it's not like impassable or something so we're gonna aim for somewhere around here I guess something like that I guess and then the left flank can go around here something like that I don't know and the right flank further up here general try to keep him alive because he's only good to us as long as he's living Cavalry is super flanking. <laughs> super flanking. That's a term only blue ankylos know. So we're still fighting uphill, which is not so smart. Their archers, are they in range yet? I don't know. We're going to have to start charging forward. As soon as we start taking fire from the archers, we're going to have to start running. Uh, the only... Oh no, this is impassable train. That'll kind of mess up our charge a little bit. Um, the only... Oh, they're, they're actually running further and further back. Ugh. We're really dragging things out. Well, in that case, I'm going to try to take this hill a little bit. Um, if they were uh, elves, they would probably be shooting us by now, and we'd have to run across the map to catch up with them, which would kind of not help us out too much. You know how it is. Um, I mean, there's not much strategy to do here. All I've got is light infantry that suck, and one unit of wargs, and they just keep running backwards. So, uh, like I said, I hate it when the AI does this, and I'm recording. I don't care so much when I'm not recording, but uh, in this situation, it's more of a pain. Guys, Oh yeah, there comes... Okay, it's just about time to attack, I think. I'm not really in position, but um, I don't want to be taking too many flaming bolts of death. Uh, I hate this. Well, I don't hate it, but it's annoying. I mean, you'd be annoyed too, wouldn't you? Oh, they just keep running around. Stupid. Okay, are they going to attack my small army over there? On the flank? What's going on? Militia? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Looks like it's time for some battling. Good. <laughs> it's about time. So you guys are going to run over that way quick. You guys probably need to get up here faster. Alright. Let's see what happens. So they've got some spare cavalry over there. Lots of infantry in the center here. I don't know what they're doing. You know what? Let's just attack. Oh, but I don't want to have to run so far. This is stupid. <laughs> they keep pulling back further and further and further. I guess they're scared of us? Excellent. They're scared of us. We've got them on the run. <laughs> Except it's wasting so much time. I guess I might have confused them by splitting my troops up there. Oh well, I'd rather they charged over here. I actually have some spearmen over here, so strictly speaking, I'd rather they went up against the uh, cavalry if possible. So let's do that. I still think their cavalry will probably demolish us there, but... 
All right. So there's their ballista trying to get a line on us. They actually put their ballista in kind of a lousy spot there under the hill. They probably can't get a line of sight on us. All right, let's do this. This It's time. Time is up. Charge. Close enough. It's time to get in there and do some battling. Um, hope I have enough troops to win this. Uh, here they come. Charging at us. Maybe. Goblins, oh, they're getting attacked. Well, I'm going to target the cavalry if possible. And send these guys up. I don't know. Attack in there or something. Alright. You know what? Seeing as they've all messed around. Oh, they routed already? Uh, Alright, I guess... Wow. Really? That was fast. I didn't think we had them outnumbered. Oh, my guys are very tired? Grrr. Oh, look! <laughs> are you surprised? They get straight to my bodyguards. Uh-huh. Oh, and my stalkers are routing, too. Oh, this is, this is not good. I mean, it's good that their units are routing. It's not good that mine are. Um, okay, you guys need to get in there. Glad everything's routing quickly. Uh, maybe I should pull these guys back to try to deal with... Shoot! Yeah, their cavalry is just <laughs> demolishing our guys. Alright. So it's the battles of the crappy... Uh, <laughs> the battle of the crappy morale. Our guys are going to route easily. Their guys are going to route easily. Um, let's continue capturing them so they don't ever reform. Uh, or not. Shoot. Man, our troops are bad. You guys are supposed to be fighting cavalry. I can't believe their uh, merchant cavalry are doing so well, actually. All right, here we go. We're kind of charging into spearmen. It's not exactly what I wanted to see happen there. Got them to rout, though. That was good. I guess they don't have any um, generals. Yeah. So what's happening here is basically wherever my uh, my wargs go, they will rout. So if I had more, more wargs, I'd probably be doing pretty well. Send them that way, and then take out some archers that are hassling us. Uh, their merchants, merchant cavalry, are not giving in the way I was hoping. Uh, they're sort of surrounding us, making our guys route, which is not how it's supposed to go. Okay, you guys, you guys help out with them. So you guys help out over there. Right, wargs. Looks like we caught their archers. You guys, looks like these guys were victorious. Or no, they're just running away. Okay, you keep chasing them so they can't shoot at us. That'll work. Well, I'm glad we had wargs because I think without the wargs we would have lost this actually. Because our units route so quickly. I'm not even sure if our general's going to survive all this down there. But yeah, we've got horrible, horrible um, morale and stamina for our guys as well. So it's kind of interesting. I, I'm not used to fighting, you know, crap troops versus crap troops. Looks like their cavalry have routed at least that one. So most of their troops have routed now, I think. So we're doing pretty good. Pretty happy, all things considered. These guys are still fighting. Got some... Oh, some of my guys that routed regrouped. Yeah, that's all that is. So they didn't actually totally route. I probably should have tried the uh, special ability, the rally troops. I forget about stuff like that. So they're routing. Have we won then? Excellent. I think this is a victory. Capture their troops. So if if they're all routing, what's what's stopping us from winning? Oh, is it this one archers? Yeah, those one archers on skirmish. That's why we're still in battle. <laughs> oh well. Speed things up. We'll capture as much as I can, and then I'll send my wargs after the archers. Or oh, or we'll just win. Okay. I don't want anybody escaping though. That's not going to happen. Okay, I definitely like the wargs. Definitely happy with their performance today. Um, I mean, I wasn't really expecting much out of our stalkers, but I really wish we had some better troops to uh, fill in the ranks so they could hold a line. I'm used to semi-competent infantry that will hold the line for a while, and that's just not what we're going to get. So until we've got trolls, we're going to be... I mean, and not, trolls don't hold the line either. They break lines, really, but... Uh, Anyway, the wargs are good. Once we've got a nice... I think I'd like to have, like, 
four units of wargs per uh, army, <laughs> if I can ever get enough. That way I'll have tons to protect both flanks and hassle them. Because if I'd been able to send my wargs, maybe what I should have done is sent my wargs after their cav, because we do get a bonus against them. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on in the battle. It worked out fairly well. Um, warg riders getting experience is great, and also not taking too many casualties, so I'm happy about that. Um, we lost a few, but that's okay. Looks like, yeah, the wargs definitely did the best. None of our other units are very strong, so it's fairly standard. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just trying to plan out strategies here, because I don't have a lot of good units, so this is new to me. I haven't played this kind of battle very often. Um, I might have been smarter. <laughs> oh, look at them all. I actually... Would, should I take the money if they'll pay us? Oh, we don't have much money. Let's take it. No, they wouldn't pay us anyway. I was just thinking that might be worth it if they'd actually... If they would pay us, that might uh, I might take it. Get ready for fighting. So it looks like a few of them managed to escape. I didn't manage to clear the unit completely. But pretty close. And... Uh, yeah, see, if I had money, I could recruit some more throwaway troops. Maybe next turn. Ah, oh, good, and we're starting to get some command traits, so he's got a little bit of skill. Yeah, once he gets more skill... <laughs> and respect. Erg, I don't want respect. I guess that's what I get for trying to ransom them. Noble in rule or something. But yeah, once he starts getting command stars, I imagine my dudes won't route so quickly. It won't be quite as horrible. Um, I want to keep... Yeah, I'll, actually, I'm going to leave this spy up here to keep an eye up here, because... Yeah, they, they could strike for Karndum. That would be bad. Now, I've got some more wargs here. I think I'm going to send... So as, as dangerous as, as it is to leave this place undefended, I need them to join up with the real army, and then I can pull them back if I need to. Alright, so that's one battle for today's episode, and I believe we're going to get another one this turn, because this will happen. Alright, let's continue on, see what happens. One victory is a good start. I mean, uh, the goblins are throwaway, so losing a lot of those don't matter too much. But I can't go losing the full armies or else I'm in big trouble. Alright, so this is Gimli. The Gimli battle. Excellent. And this one has trolls. Excellent. I like my trolls. So what have they got altogether? Uh, also very small units because we've been sieging them for so long. They've lost a lot of their strength. Which is good. I think that helps us out fairly significantly as well. Alright, let's do this. I'll fight this one for you guys too. Everyone wants to see Gimli get murdered, right? So I think I'm not too worried about the dwarves, other than their uh, garrison script castle. That's a little bit concerning. Um, Ariador, well, their troops aren't good. It's just a matter of how many they got and if we'll be able to uh, sort of, you know, counter enough of them. Uh, I'm still mostly concerned about the elves. <laughs> we haven't seen them in battle yet, but uh, that's... If there's anything to be worried about, that's it, I think. So let's do our standard. I'm sure you guys will be tired of this pretty quickly, but we're going to do our standard a little bit off to the side, actually. Um, large line to, you know, go toe to toe. Actually, we don't need it very long. Their troops, sorry about that. Their troops are very small units, so we don't actually need a long, wide line or anything. Oh, I will have trolls on one side. Probably go around that way. Wargs on the other again, because I think that's the key to victory. Archers, I don't know, I don't even really care. I don't really want them to do anything, so let's just have them... Well, you know, maybe they could get a couple shots. Let's put them up there. If they if they get there in time, they can take a couple volleys on them. I don't know if they'll help at all, but... Oh, I have more wargs! Ooh. Right. This place is starting to get strong. Good. I'll, I'll be very happy to have this army free once we've taken this settlement. That's good. Some backup units. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. And the generals, I might I might end up sending the generals into battle, we'll see. I'm a little bit concerned that the dwarves will kill them too quickly, but... Anyway, let's do that, that'll work. I should group up some of these people together so I can select them easier. Uh, generals, kind of special, you can have your own unit, I guess. And then the reinforcement army, sure, you can be all together. Alright, so we've got super trolls. Again, half the battle, half the strategy is to prevent any of these from dying but also to uh, maximize the carnage. Oh, they do, I forgot about that. They've got some axe throwers. So yeah, we gotta keep our trolls away from them. Uh, the good news about trolls is they do run so quickly. Um, very, I don't think the dwarves could ever catch up with them if, I, if they tried to chase. You basically need cavalry to run down trolls. I don't think anything else can catch them. 
and even heavy cav like my Dale, uh, my Earls from Dale, I don't think they could uh, cap catch them either, actually. Okay, we're going to get into position in time. It looks like we'll be in time. Send these guys up around. Maybe speed that up a little bit. Get over there. Get over there! Yeah, I'll have them run. Maybe I should be running more of my troops. I don't know. So let's see, what's my awesome range for my archers here? They can shoot that far. <laughs> I wonder if they can even shoot further than the axemen can throw their axes. Like, I don't even know. Oh, they're going to try... Uh, I just want to keep an eye on what they're up to. Gimli's regiment. There you go. Gimli! You're going to die. I uh, just want to double check. So they're... Huh, they're going straight for my cavalry, or my wargs. I'm just going to use that interchangeably, I know. Archers. One archer's in position. Guys. Oh, you're never going to make it in time. You can just stop there, I guess. You know, I'll actually just leave skirmish on my archers so they can... I don't want to have to manage them too much. I'll let them shoot a couple volleys and then, uh, I mean, if they kill anything, I'll be surprised. Did they kill anybody? No, everyone just stands back up. No one actually gets hurt. Now, uh, shoot. Yeah, I didn't actually manage to make my line in time. Maybe if I get them to run, they'll make it. Yeah, that's the trouble. It just takes too long to uh, group everyone up the way you want. Um, I thought they were going to go for my trolls, but they didn't after all. Where are the Axors? Well, those are the Axors there. So what I actually should be doing, actually, is charging them. So let's do this. Let's have you guys... No, no. Oh, you're archers. Right. Let's have you guys charge them. Archers, stop doing whatever you were doing. You guys charge in, charge in. More archers. Charge after them. Yeah, we're just going to send all of my orcs charging in there. Why not? Uh, actually, you know what I should do is I should send one towards those guys. Yeah, that would be smart. Oh, well. This is going to be a mess because I didn't really get a chance to... Uh, set up my lines the way I wanted. Do we get a bit of a charge? Yeah, we get a charge. It won't do much, but, you know. Alright, so I want you guys to start uh, circling around. You guys can go this way. Draw them in. Draw them back! I guess we could be shooting them with arrows. I don't know. Alright, so what's going on? Alright, here we go. We got a nice sort of back attack there available. Trolls are going to come down here. And attack them, I think. That will do for now. Back attack. Alright, we engaged over there, so let's start. Uh, why is no one engaged with Gimli? It's not exactly what I wanted for him to get around. Someone. Well. No, no, no. You're not supposed to ignore them. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do a back attack on these guys. Back attack! Trolls should be getting into position before long. Or are in position? Are they in there? Oh no, here, they're coming. They'll, they'll kill those guys pretty good, no worries. Goblins. Axe throwers are in battle, I think. Yeah, that's the main trick. Let my wargs uh, attack from behind. Oh yeah, don't leave them engaged. Don't leave them engaged. Take too many casualties if you leave them engaged. Just charge. Hit and run tactics. Orc bodyguards. I'll just leave them here, actually. That'll work. Back works. Okay. Trolls, they should be totally fine for this unit. They'll win us this side for sure. Uh, that's fine. These guys got their charge. Back away. Do another charge? Let's do another charge. Gimli's regiment. Yeah, they, they'd like to take out the wargs, too, I'm sure. Okay, so that's... Actually, warg charges seem very powerful. Dwarves are tough and all, but I think the wargs with their little charge boost is enough. Alright, trolls I assume are good. Yeah, they caught them, no problem. So let's have... I guess we've almost killed all the dwarves, actually. Oddly enough, all that's left is Gimli's regiment, again. So let's uh, send a couple units after him specifically. I'm going to actually lure him down with the... Because he seems to be... Uh, he was focused on the warg, so I was assuming that if I move them, he would chase after them, but 
It's all good. I'm going to send the trolls over this way because they probably um, haven't taken in very much damage. So I'll be able to use them on Gimli's regiment if I need to. Last time, I mean, you saw the fight with Ori. Um, he killed a lot of dudes, so having uh, the trolls around should speed things up. Although the wargs... Yeah. Excellent. Charge from behind. And they killed Gimli. Good job, my wargs. Well, that was easy. All right. No problem. Maybe these dwarves aren't all they are thought to be. You know, I was expecting more of a fight from Gimli there, honestly. That didn't take too much time at all. All right. Two battles down. Now what? Yeah, well, this guy was sacrificial. He was just a scout. Scout goblin. I'll let him run away if he can get away, but whatever. Yeah, they got a lot of dudes. What have they got here? Same junk units. Anything here? It's nice to get a look at their units. That, okay, we already saw those guys. No big deal. Run for it. Can you escape? That that was a very poor escape. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so they're sending an army to Nuniel. Oh, how do they have so many troops? Stupid hobbits and Bremen and all them. Oh, well, we'll be fine. I'm I'm overly concerned. It's the high elves. <laughs> All right, we got to start preparing our counterattack. Uh, another one? Yeah, I think we'll take them. It's good to have more of those guys. Free units. I think Dane's halls will be fine. Nothing to worry about there. This way. Now, what else is going on? Money. Oh, we can upgrade Gundabad if we had money. Which we don't. Well, it'll get around to it eventually. Alliance between the elves. That sucks a little bit. Um, looks like that army kind of disappeared. I don't know where they ran off to. I'd like to take uh, that city, but it's too far away. I think I need to... Yeah, I'm going to need these guys up north. Uh, quicker than anything. We'll leave a watchtower to clear up a little bit. Um, yeah, I definitely want them to group up still. And I'll recruit some more... Shoot, I don't have any money. <laughs> I don't have any money. Um, they actually didn't kill those orcs. That's weird. Uh, how long is it going to take to get back to Cairn Doom? Three turns? We'll have some reinforcements on the way. I'd recruit troops if I could afford them, but I can't. Anyway, they'll have to build siege units. Hopefully they don't take it. I mean, ugh. maybe I should have left a few more units there to guard, but... Oh, well, that's what happens. They're also going to take out Nuniel because I cannot defend and attack at the same time. But now that we're done up here, merge around. How much do we need? Um, let's just leave the archers, honestly. Uh, the archers don't really do much. Or not. 65% leave archers and Get stalkers blue and I guess blue will do <laughs> just don't have the I don't have the troops to leave people behind like that so he will move down to fight that army and then hopefully he'll be free to help out down this side um, see if I can find some other cities here the Shire yeah all right Anuminius might be their capital actually not their capital. It's one of their large towns. And we've got King Aragorn, so I think taking that would be nice. Uh, maybe I'll aim for that. Um, you know what? Building here is pointless. They're just going to take it as soon as we get there. So, yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to... Well, I mean, there's walls, so it'll take them a turn or two to build uh, siege equipment, but it'll take us a couple turns to get there, too. I'm actually not 100% sure how well this battle will go when, when this finally comes, or comes out. Get ready for Maybe I should send reinforcements that way instead. I don't know. I've got some wargs. I think we can win. As long as my troops can hold long enough for the wargs to uh, flank them from behind, we'll be okay. And our troops do outnumber them. So, eh. I'm moderately optimistic about that battle. Uh, more concerned about how long it's going to take to get our troops up here. And the fact that... Oh, now I have money! I have money now! Perfect. That was smart, cancelling that one building. Alright, anything else I could build nearby? Oh, I could probably not afford to upgrade Gundamad. 1800. Oh, I almost could afford it. Not quite. Alright, well, more troops. We need the troops. 
All right, let's do it. Let's keep going. Let's see what happens. We got two battles in today's episode. Now we just got to get a couple turns done. Ah, this game's addictive. I just want to keep playing all the time. So I'll probably end up recording a fair bit ahead. Oh, I forgot about those guys. I'll probably end up recording a fair bit ahead of the uh, uploading schedule just because I'm having a good time. Um, yeah, whatever. Just run for it. Yeah, that wasn't a very good run. Now you're dead. Oh, well. Keeps them occupied a little bit longer so we have our time for our troops to move up. I forgot about that spy, too. Oh, well. Can't run away anymore. Auto battle, basically. No. <laughs> whatever. 138 of them managed to escape. Good enough. Nuniel's under siege, of course. Not much I can do about it, except for what I am doing. But yeah, I mean, uh, definitely feel free to leave suggestions for comments. Just understand that I may be so many turns ahead that there's not much I can do in the immediate future. Um, that's just the way it goes with Let's Playing, you know. Uh, Alright, so how far are we going to go today? Maybe we'll, I can't really fit another battle in here unless it's a quick battle for this episode. Yeah, yeah. So they've made it to Karndum, but they didn't actually start sieging us. The Dark Lord has given us 500 gold coins, which is nice. End of turn. Yeah, we're out of money, I know. Recruiting stuff, yeah. So that makes it a little bit harder to take that settlement. We'll have our barracks soon enough. I still can't afford... I'm still like 60 bucks short. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm glad I cancelled that. The elves are looking like they're going to try helping out. What do they got here? Just one Boquendi. My wargs could probably deal with that because they're pretty quick. Well, I don't know. Maybe they could deal with that. I should at least build the shrine here. That would be smart. Alright. And you guys, come on down. Try to save the settlement. And you guys, come on up. Try to save another settlement. Uh, they've got space. Ah, it's a full troop. Merge. It's mostly full. Uh, I'll still send one of these guys over. Trade you for... Oh, I can't this turn. There's no more movement points. Oh, well, I'll trade them next turn. Shoot. I'm so low on money right now. Not much I can do. Ah, uh, I guess we'll do another turn. Things are going okay. Spy. Yeah. That's their main settlement. I think, uh... Yeah, Hobbiton. There you go. Wow, look at all the troops they've got. Where do they get all these guys from? Computer. The AI always cheats. Cheating AI. As long as the elves don't do that. If they start getting full stack armies, we're in big trouble. Big trouble. Let's uh, build a watchtower. Objective. I know I have no money, but let's just waste it. <laughs> I like to be able to see, though. Uh, yeah, let's send another guy let's over. Might as well. Uh, what's going to happen is the High Elves from Imladris are going to send an army up. And there's going to be nothing we can... Do. Oh, this is not good. That's not good. Sylvan Elves? Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of bad, actually. Misty Mountain Orcs, come on, buddies. You gotta. Oh, let's just double check the diplomacy. Who are we at war with? Ariador, High Elves, Sylvan Elves, Lorien Elves, and the Dwarves. Yeah, we're at war with everybody. And what are our buddies, the Misty Mountain Orcs, up to? I think I can just click them. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, they're at war with even more. They're at war with Rohan, Dale. Shoot, the problem is more just being at war with everyone. There's too many different ways they can attack Ready from. Okay, we'll get you in there. You can join up. Get you in there. So this will be a full stack of crap troops. Although we've got a couple wargs that will help. Alright, well, I think we've got enough to defend and probably take back Athelin on this side. On this side, though, I don't know. I guess it just depends on how well that battle goes. And how many troops the elves pull up. That will do one more turn. One more turn. Pressured a little. It's mostly... Well, I mean, they picked a good time to attack us. I mean, uh, that was that was smart. Um, we had no troops ready to defend when they attacked us, no armies ready. And we're still just trying to uh, group up as quickly as we can. So there's not much, not much else I could have done. Uh, I had no diplomats, so going for peace treaters was completely impossible until we get large town and Gundabad. 
I don't think I can even recruit diplomats until then. So, yeah. Well, nothing horrible happened. It looked like they broke the siege. Blockade. What? I don't even have ships. What a stupid mission. I don't even have a port. I don't even think we can recruit ships anyway. Yeah, that's that's kind of dumb. Alright, Karndum is under siege. Now, I've got two junk archers and some spearmen in there. It will be an honor I I don't think I could actually hold it, but the, I mean, the thing is, we're almost there anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is break off the two small ones. And then these two are full strength. So that's a full strength army. Basically, full power. And we'll be there next turn, hopefully with the last. And we'll actually have these guys fall up behind them. More just as reinforcements than anything. Now, what did happen, I noticed, was they uh, broke off the siege at Nuniel. So I'm not sure where they went. Maybe I should keep this spy up here so I can see more where their reinforcements are coming from. Oh, look, another one, too. Castle. Maybe I should... Yeah, well, we'll, we'll definitely try to take those as soon as we can. Um... He's coming down. Should be enough in there to kill those archer, kill those elves. It'll be our first high elf battle coming up. Next turn is this one too. They'll have uh, run out of supplies, so they'll have to fight us. So next turn, more battles. Next episode as well, basically. Um, anything else going on? By the way, how is our money situation? Bad. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. So our queues are stalled. That's basically the upgrade, actually. Um, maybe I should be taxing people more. Yeah, maybe I should start taxing people, you know? We're evil. Growth is pointless if you can't afford the upgrades anyway. Let's, uh... Well, the villages just take so long, though. Graham's a town, right? Yeah, let's just start taxing them. They'll still grow, just slower. Oh, wait, no, I can't tax them too much, or they, they'll repel. Well, normal taxes are better than nothing. This one, can you handle high tax? Yeah. Seeing as they're not going to be able to build that anyway till I get some money. That helped out a little bit. You know what? Uh, even the villages, we're going to have to have some taxes. Maybe not a lot of taxes, but um, until we can afford it, it doesn't really matter anyway. It's an actual town. Yeah, this place should have high taxes. It's a town. It's got a long way to grow, but money. I need money. That's a little bit of money. Not much. Wooden castle. Yeah, it's just no way to really get money right now. All right. So anyway, I'm going to uh, probably end the episode here, unfortunately. As exciting as this is and as great the battles are coming, um, perhaps next turn we'll taste elven blood. Uh, we're certainly going to have an Eriador battle up here. I respect. And we're certainly going to have dwarf battles. So we've got battles everywhere. So the turns are going to start slowing down a little bit. We're only going to get a couple episodes a turn. Or a couple turns an episode, perhaps. But uh, yeah, this should be exciting. I'm not sure how well this will go. There's no trolls here. And only one warg. And this is our chieftain, so if he dies, <laughs> that might be bad. But Oh well, we'll see how it goes next time on Let's Play 30 Short of War. Thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. And have a great day.